Hey guys and welcome back. I'm going to show you today how to uh, cool down your water tanks here. So basically I my thing over here is overheating and I'm going to teach you how to make sure it cools down. First thing you're going to need, you're going to need a pump. Pump. And it's pump 515. Get one of those. You're going to need some pipes. Make sure you get the right one. Get the cobblestone waterproof pipes. You're going to need as many of those as you think you need. You're also going to need an engine. I recommend the combustible engine. You're going to need, you can have up to four, no. You can have up to six connected, one on each corner. I'm going to use two, and then you're going to need a switch. Later on, you're gonna need same oil, but not right now. They can like little lake near your engine. First thing you're gonna need to do is place that down. Place the pump down. It should look like this, obviously. And you should see this little black and yellow tube come out. Next thing you're gonna do is place engines on the sides that you want. Make sure it is touching. From there, on either side, right next to it, you are going to place switches. You're going to take pipes, connect them to the engine, such as the picture shows here, and you're going to connect it over to the engine over here. Next step, after I get this done, what you're going to need to do next is put oil in the pump. We connected them to it so it will get water automatically. You're going to need oil. Oil bucket. You're going to need, I'd fill it up about halfway on each. There we go. And then fill up the same exact one on the other side. The more you have, the stronger it is, and the more water it can get at a time, and the faster it pumps out. So usually the more engines, the better, but you don't want them to overload. That's why you pick the pipes to it. It should start pumping, and you should see the water on each engine start filling up. This is because the engines are pumping into the tubes, but the tubes are also pushing it into the engines. That is helpful. Usually when it gets up to the top, it should stop pumping in. It should get up to the top pretty fast, and then it should start filling up the pipe. As you see here, it will slowly start to go into this engine. This engine is on red, which is not very good. It goes from blue, which usually means it's not being used at all, to green. It starts to turn red to orange. Orange is not good at all. This is orange right now. Now, as you can see, it's going in, but it's just disappearing since it's so hot. Now, if this were to blow, it would blow this whole quarry here. As you can see, this quarry is not very big. We only got one pump, and it's all pumping in here. Looks like we have gotten down to rock a tad bit, five rock. It should have started, it should start in just a few minutes or so. It should start changing color. As you can see, these engines are working pretty, pretty hard here. And whoa, not that whole. They should still be fully charged up. So you gotta wait a few minutes. I'm gonna help it out by putting some water in. So, uh, I'm just going to help it out a little. It may take a little while for it to build up enough energy and water energy to kind of die down. So, when it is at cooling point where, oh, see, it's at cooling point now. Now it's at green. It 
starting to fill up there and you'll see it slowly and slowly fill up. And that engine there is also powering this quarry here. So if this were to shut off, my quarry would too. These water, I don't know, I just felt like putting it there. But the water that's powering that is over here. This is a little stronger. Oh, these are on red. That's not good. I'm going to shut these off. Now, the only problem with those is if you shut them off, they're usually done for. Which is sad. But it looks like it's probably starting to get filled up. Yeah, so, and you can always manually fill it up, but eh, you just got to keep an eye on Oil doesn't run out as fast. Got all these pipes running around here. But that's basically it. This thing will just keep mining and mining. Well, thanks.